I'm on Billionaire's Row in Florida. There's rich people literally everywhere on this beach. They've definitely left something behind. A diamond ring, an iPhone, a PS5. Probably not a PS5, but they've left something in the water. And I have everything that I need to essentially become rich. Metal detector and goggles. You might be thinking, Isaiah, how are you gonna take that in the water? <laughs> Silly goose, this is waterproof. So yeah, I can go in the water with it. It's pretty cool. And with my goggles and trusty metal detector, I'll be searching every inch of this 100 miles of beach. It's not gonna be an easy task. We're talking sharks, riptide waves, and lack of oxygen. And with all these billionaires around, I'm clearly gonna find something insane. I'm starting at Vero Beach, where a teenager recently found a $10,000 coin. With my wife's purple goggles and a tiny bit of determination, I found a shipwreck. Call me Scuba Doo. Look at how deep I am. That was a lot further than I thought it was. Look at all these people just vacationing. There's a ship out there. People died. And we're just drinking margaritas. That's crazy. As you can see, the first few miles were pretty murky, but it didn't take long for me to reach clear water. In this moment, I'm realizing right now that I wish that I had a snorkel. After securing my handy dandy snorkel, I went straight back to where I started. No more excuses. How did I forget flippers? Okay, I've got a lot of beach to cover and I have everything I could possibly need. So basically, my plan is to begin by shuffling in waist-deep water where most people are gonna drop valuables and use my metal detector to find the items. When the metal detector buzzes and blinks, that means I've found something of interest. And lucky for me, it didn't take that long. I just had to do a bit of digging. First part of the day, got myself a AAA battery, baby. It worked, okay? This guy works, I can't believe it. I just dug for like five minutes and found this battery. And before long, I secured my next find. Yes. Check this out. It's tin foil, I think. All right, I need to get back to work. This, this is sad. I gotta get better than this. 10 miles, wow. I'd like to think of myself as a pretty optimistic person, but I'm gonna level with you. Not finding much up until this point is rather disappointing. That being said, I know for a fact that the water's gonna be much clearer here on out, which will make finding something so much easier. And trust me, if you could feel this thing buzzing in your hand, you'd be experiencing a crazy dopamine hit like I am. I didn't realize at first how incredible this metal detector was. Turns out it can find stuff that's over a foot deep. I ended up digging for quite a while for this piece of treasure which was getting me pretty excited because if I'm needing to dig deeper, this thing must have been here for a while, right? I mean, whatever's down here must be super old. Well, at least it's bigger than a battery, <laughs> right? At mile 20, I happened to catch a super nice current that actually helped me speed run like several miles. I mean, look at this. I, that's not even natural, that looks fake. Eventually I ended up in this cove and along the way I found some more treasure, including a bottle, a shell, a third of a soda can and a bottle cap. So uh, yeah, I'm hoping that when I make it to the billionaire hotspot later, I'll find something of actual value and not trash. Wait, is that Bill Gates? Why is he looking for treasure? I thought he was a millionaire. Some people. Suddenly the water was clearer than ever and I had that feeling in my stomach that something incredible was about to happen. Either that or last night's Chipotle was about to meet the Atlantic. About something. Little did I know, this was my most valuable find yet. But you're probably wondering how I'm even filming underwater. And that's because of the Insta360 dive case. And while I dig this up, let me tell you more about it. You've probably seen the Insta360 X3 a ton in my videos because of its ability to get impossible shots like this one and all of the shots in this video. I can see fish. I can see turtles. Let's just hope I don't see a shark anytime soon. And with the brand new invisible dive case, I'm able to get crystal clear footage unlike any other camera on the planet. Not only is the dive case invisible, but the selfie stick is 100% invisible underwater too. I basically have a drone underwater now. That's crazy. Which makes my life so much easier while making these videos. Can literally just hit the record button and just go underwater. It doesn't matter where the camera's pointed. It gets the perfect shot. Get the invisible dive case and the Insta360 X3 right now using the link in the description. I'm telling you guys, game changer. All right, let's see what I found. 
<laughs> yeah, baby! <laughs> I don't know what this is, some sort of medallion. Okay, it's a coin. This is not American. This is actually wild. I almost lost it underwater. I, can't, I mean, I can't read it. Beth? I don't know, maybe it's English? Dude, we need to get this thing inspected. This is crazy! This medallion is a game changer. If it's anything like that coin that the teenager found a few weeks ago, we're talking tens of thousands of dollars. But I've still got like 50 miles of beach left, so you and I both know that I could potentially make a whole lot more. And as it turns out, the medallion was just the start. And honestly, it feels like I've hit the jackpot. I'm finding stuff left and right. Like this piece of metal that I'm just, you know, I'm spitballing here. Could be worth anywhere from one to one thousand dollars. I was determined to find something crazy. So I siphoned through every grain of sand on this beach. And it turns out I was in the right spot because apparently pirates used to hide their loot here. And it's rumored that there's actually quite a bit of missing gold, which is, you know, probably why they call it the Treasure Coast. Just got to a new beach and you wouldn't believe what I just found. That's right. Competition. Yeah, fellow metal detector guy. Find anything good? Not today. What he doesn't know is that the treasure's in the water. <laughs> what a schmuck. Turns out I was the schmuck. I mean, look at me. I'm literally hanging on for dear life out here. These waves were absolutely relentless, tossing me in every direction. And I even did find something, but then I immediately got spit up on the beach where John showed me a gold earring that he just found. Guess you'll be seeing me in an instant karma compilation. But not all hope is lost. I somehow stumbled into this cove, which is super famous for that time that Jeff Bezos got caught skinny dipping on a late night paddleboard adventure. <laughs> yeah, things get a little crazy around here. Obviously, Billionaire's Row has already been extremely successful. Look at them, staring down at us from their high towers. Paddlers come through this channel all day long. I imagine they have a lot of money. Uh, some of which falls out of their loose pockets. So yeah, I'm gonna go back into this water here and see if I can find some of their crazy medallions. I don't know, maybe a ring, a watch that drops into the water. They don't have the right equipment to get it, but I do. Turns out Jeff has no pockets when he's skinny dipping. And I found nothing in this area. So I risked it all for the last 10 miles. I went deep. Now only looking back, this was a really dumb idea because I accidentally went into shark infested water. As you can clearly see from this footage, I was completely oblivious and was having so much fun that I actually forgot why I came here in the first place. Having fun is far more important than making money, which is great because that medallion I found is worth only $3. So yeah, at least I got internet points for cleaning the ocean. 